My name is Magnus. I'm a personal trainer and nutritionist and have been for more than 20 years. Today, I am really excited because in a couple of minutes, Rams quarterback, John Wilford, will walk in the doors and I'm gonna put him through one of my superhero workouts. And I was thinking I'm gonna do a chest, front side, shoulder and core workout the same I did with Ben Affleck for Justice League. So we'll see how he handles that. If you want to train like Gal Gadot in Wonder Woman 84, Alicia Vikander in Tomb Raider, Alexander Skarsgård in Tarzan, Ben Affleck in Justice League, James McAvoy in Glass, I share all those exact programs on my app. I also have body weight programs, nutrition guides. You can also message me in the app. And right now you can try that for 30 days for only a dollar. No time to waste, John's almost here. Let's do this. He's in trouble, gets away from that hit you called for, and he runs it for a first down. Wolford, going deep. Wolford, firing it down the middle for a first down. Wolford, trying to get around the end, and he finds a seam and picks up the first. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, let's see how tall you are. You wanna come over here? Good? All right, so we're gonna, we're just gonna warm up for five minutes and use these guys as well. And then we're gonna do a couple of sprints. We're doing 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna stop, we're gonna rest 20 seconds and then we're gonna hit it as hard as we can for 20 seconds. Just go all in. And we're, we're, we're doing this for six Round. sets, yeah. Is, um, is the rest, I completely stop moving, or is it yes, still, you, you, up Yes, up to you. Okay. Whatever you feel comfortable with. All righty, three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Good start. Five, four, three, two, one, that's it, boom. Two, one, and rest. Fantastic, good job. So we're doing a pyramid set, five sets. We're gonna start with 12 reps. Uh, then we're gonna put on weight and drop down to 10 reps, eight reps, finish with a six, then we're gonna go up again. So if you wanna warm up here, I'll, I'll just have a look at you and uh, yeah. This is my bench for me. Yeah, man, we're on our way. Eccentric, I always try to keep a little more resistance, a little slower, just to activate yeah. your butt. Yeah, just a little bit. You, you don't need to go slow, but in any, any muscle, you're about 20, 30% stronger eccentric. So to activate it 100% constantly for 40 seconds, you, you just want a little resistance. So that's good to know. Alrighty, let's put some weight, weights on. Yeah, so be super mindful about tucking in the shoulder blades, yeah. ju ju just like you normally do. 12 reps. Boom, fantastic. Go up and touch. Beautiful. Strong guy. Love that pace. Perfect pace. I'm gonna rest 90 seconds to two minutes and then we'll go again. Fantastic. All right, so we're down to six reps. Sweet, good job. All right, now we're gonna strip up some weight again and then we'll do 
go back to 10 to 12 reps on the last one. All right, John, how do you feel? Good. Good, yeah. yeah. Next one's uh, dumbbell press, incline dumbbell press. We're gonna do four flat sets, okay. 12 reps. Okay. And yeah, go as heavy as we can. All right, sweet. And am I turning or am I keeping them neutral? No, no, keep them neutral. What I do, I, I, you know, I hold it like a barbell, but I rotate down a little bit because it just allows your shoulders to, to come down and yeah, yeah. Which is better for you? What I'll do, even though you got it covered, I'm just gonna force your shoulders down. Excellent. All right. I'm not gonna push John to lift the heaviest weights. Uh, it, it would simply not be smart. This guy needs to build himself up for his football season and uh, lifting heavy with few reps is not what he needs, it's not what he does. It would be, you know, it would not be good for his football training and it, you know, potentially might get him injured. So we're not gonna do that. A big reason too, the reason we don't lift heavy SQB's upper body is because it's all about the transition of ground force energy up through your body through the chain and we want fluidity, right? You yeah. Want, it's, like a, it's like a rubber band, so when my hips dissociate, it's much like a golfer or a baseball swing or a pitcher, right? My hips are dissociating but my shoulders are staying closed and so you're creating this rubber band effect and the last thing to go is your arm, right? So if you're too bulky up top, that chain of energy can sometimes get Correct. And everything we're doing is isolated. Right. We're asking your chest to work, right. not with that rubber band effect. Right. So doing too much of this would, would not be good for you as a football player. Right, right, totally. All right, last set. <sighs> your journey to the Rams. Yeah. Tell me about that one. Yeah, so uh, out of high school, I went to Wake Forest, um, played there for four years. Really not until my junior, senior year, the NFL was kind of being a viable option for me. And so I talked to some scouts, um, I was gonna give it a shot. I was gonna be an undrafted player. Didn't get signed after the draft like most guys. Got signed the last week of the preseason by the Jets. Was cut a week later, um, so I was on the street. Worked part-time at a private equity shop and trained the other half of the day. And so I told myself I'd give it a year. I'm gonna try and make it for a year, get everything I had. The AAF happened, which was the startup football league. <laughs> Played well in that. It was an eight-game season, it got cut short. And then the Rams signed me subsequently. I had a workout with them right after that season ended. And been with the Rams ever since. So hasn't been the most direct path, but. Let me ask you this. Did you always knew deep down in your heart that you would make it? Oh, you definitely have doubts every now and then, but I don't. Which is normal. Right, right. I had a belief that if I continuously can improve every day, right, if I focus on the minute details of my footwork, you know, how you can improve even the slightest percentage on your mechanics and how that has a compounding effect, um, I felt like I was getting better every day. It's not like I felt like I was plateauing. And so I knew if I just kept working, yeah. I would get to the level where I could stick. And what's exciting about kind of the mindset I think I've developed is that if you keep focusing on those details, if you keep questioning and trying to find the best way to do things, you can get better. And that's how, you know, where some guys can plateau, you can keep getting better. And I still feel to this day. Well, to me, it sounds like you never ever gave up. You try to every day to get better and find a way. Right. And, and, you know, that's, that is something I see a lot with people that really makes it. They, they never give up. Right. They have that mentality because, yep. you, as you said, you, it's not been a straight road. No, so uh, yep. that's that's inspiring, man. Yep. That's that's awesome. Yep. I'm going to show you this one because it's crucial that you tuck in your shoulder blades. Okay. What you should um, focus on is to to push from out to in. It's not a press. As okay. soon as this turns into a press, your shoulders are going to want to start pop. So lock in, 
in and I make sure that my elbows or forearms are parallel with the cable. Okay. So when I come out, they're parallel. In, I like to rotate in a little bit towards the end. Okay. A little bit slow on the way out. Boom! But it's all about exaggerating. Just boom, back with the shoulder blades, scaps in. Yep. And bend, bend your knees slightly. Brace the core. Yes, and try to go wider. Arms straight, yes. And John, now you're here. That's rotator cuff. That, that's more pure chest. Beautiful. Go wide out. Straight arms, straight arms. Yes. Straight, slow. Boom. There you go. Now about coming forward. More in. Yes, best one so far. Twelve. Yes. Ooh. All right. So you, you, you kind of wanted to rotate up, and that's all. Then, then you put all that load on the rotator cuff. You get a strong rotator cuff, obviously, but you need to be careful about yeah. that. So just make sure to. Whoop. Let's turn that elbow down. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you did. You did. Pop your shoulder forward a little bit. Just lock them in, and it's more about out to in. When you say out to in, you mean my hands out to in? No, you're you're pulling the weight from out to in. Okay. So so instead of instead of you thinking that you're pushing the weight forward, you're pushing it from out to in. Bring the weight together. Bring the weight together. Exactly. Yeah. Go out wide. Don't go wider. Stop there. Perfect. Good job. Awesome. Well done. So same thing here, John, like, like when, when we did the incline press, mm -hmm. instead of being all the way up here, I just come in a little bit with elbows up. You don't need to go all the way in, okay. just down and up. Alrighty, last exercise before we hit the core. How do you feel? All right, let's do some core. Three exercises back to back. A lot of obliques, little, little um, transverse as well. But we're starting with a minute. Up here, you wanna uh, flatten your back, press down the, limit, eliminate the arch in the back, okay. roll up, chin towards the chest, and then just stretch, stretch sideways. Touch the ankles. It's a side stretch. After that, after a minute, we're gonna we're gonna put our hands up, this side up, so you can really come back with, with your shoulders. Press down, feet up, roll that to one side, and go as far as you can. But when my left shoulder's popping up, That's when you should stop. yeah. So slow on the way out, little. A little faster on the way up. We're doing that. Yeah, we're doing that for a minute. And after that, into push-up position. And you rotate in. Come underneath. And do that for a minute. Okay. Chin in the chest. Come on. There you go. Big stretch. Excellent, keep on breathing. Come up higher, come up a little higher. There you go. Good job. 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. So you see the difference between keeping your hands like that and that is your shoulders are forward rotated here. And here we pin them down. This is exactly where you wanna be. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Awesome. Push up position.
There you go. Hands in the ground. Thirty seconds. Three, two, one. Excellent. Good job. Good one, huh? <laughs> no shortcuts, dude. There's no shortcuts. And if you want to look like a superhero, you got to work out like one. Right. And as you can tell, this is probably one of the few exercises that you, that could be useful for you as a quarterback, right. actually. But everything else is much more bodybuilding, isolated, right. putting on mass. Right. So we can put that on camera. This is not the way you should work out if you play football. So John, what do you think? You did well. Thank you. Uh, I'd say it's um, different than uh, quarterback training. Yeah. But I can see why a bunch of superheroes hire you to train them. I mean, you do this program, you're gonna get pretty big, so pretty cool. Right. It's a lot of lot of uh, isolation and a lot of reps, target targeting a specific muscle group. Right. And then you let that muscle group rest while you're working on something else. Right. So normally you do any, anything from a three to five split program. Right. So it's very different from, from uh, athletic training. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, the way you look now, you could, I mean, I can't even imagine if, uh, if you would do three months with me in the gym. <laughs> 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 this guy could be a superhero for <laughs> sure. Hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to press like and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.